Hi, I'm Will. I'm Norm. Norm, it is App of the Day time. You have an iPad. What do we have? Yeah, so for the past couple of weeks now, I've been looking for a good note-taking app. We look at a bunch of styluses, so mm -hmm. we're going to use a stylus on aside from drawing, taking notes. Yeah. Can you use the iPad to actually take notes in like the class, for example? That seems crazy. I, I think, every I think time it I've seems to, crazy as well. Every time I've tried it, like with paper or any of the other grabbing apps, even ones designed specifically for pens, mm -hmm. it's not worked very well. You either get smudges all over the place where your hand is, is, is yeah, where impacting, is. or you know it just doesn't track finely enough, and you end up with just like a just snarled mess of chicken scratch. And I don't think it's the problem of the stylus, because there have been a ton of different styluses accommodating styli. the iPad, styli. For, but I think it's a problem with the touchscreen, the way the capacitive touchscreen it's, works. Well, it's designed, you know, for this. Yeah, and it's not pressure sensitive, uh, but there are a ton of note-taking apps. And I think the best one I've found so far is this one called Note Shelf. It is pricey, it's $6. Oh my God, it's almost a third of the price of a moleskin. But I can create, I mean, it uses the iBooks based shelf metaphor, and you can create uh, any type of paper you want. So I like you, you like you like grid, right? I like, like a small ruled, grid. Not college ruled. I like small a small grid, grid like an engineer right, would use. check paper. And I'm gonna... Your, can you pick your own background color? Yeah, like a uh, binding color? Yeah, just colors. Okay, so does it go up and down? Or no. do you scroll side to side like a normal book? You scroll book? side to side, you can swipe, you can tap a button to change pages. What I like about this app is that it has good wrist protection, wrist guard. Okay. So in the settings, you can enable it. I'm gonna turn that on right now. Right now, it's still not retina ready, really. But you can turn wrist protection on, and what that does is it creates a slider bar on the side of the screen. And what the slider bar indicates is that's where it thinks you're gonna write. Oh, okay. So if I put my wrist hold that for you? down, it actually will not have any markings there, and I start writing. Do you have to move the slider bar manually? Oh. No, as I write, it will move down. That looks like indecipherable chicken scratch. That is indecipherable chicken scratch. So that's the bad thing. I tried actually taking notes with at, at a meeting, and I'm not gonna have all of my notes shown here, but I'll have the stuff that I can see. When you but, bust out a stylus and an iPad at a meeting, people who've tried this before look at you like you're crazy. Oh also. yeah. Chicken scratch. Chicken scratch. Chicken scratch. That, like, I tried writing oh, so as it's fast. So 700 DPI. So something like that. And, and there's an A and a, a P and something. And yeah. you need to round the light off. Yeah. This makes perfect sense. So it, it was so, very difficult taking notes as fast as someone was talking while writing down. So even with the cosmonaut. Better off with like, a piece of paper then. Better off with a piece of paper or typing. Typing out your notes. Okay. Now I wouldn't recommend this necessarily just for drawing, even though you could draw with this. There is a wide selection of pens, different colored pens. For example, you can choose green. So it's not and, like paper where they artsy fartsy select your, yeah. your uh, tones for you. Know, you. you have your highlighter and your eraser and you can have text. You just deleted all of your notes. I know. And you can have images and you can take a photo. So it's all that functionality but really is for note taking. Uh, one other feature that is kind of useful that I didn't find well, all that different from writing is the zoom function. So I can zoom in and it has this grid and I can write just in here. So like you would on an old Windows Phone 6.5 or exactly. Exactly, and then you can move by line. Hmm. So I can go down and it'll just write. Would you describe this as an app that you would recommend or not so much? I would recommend it if you are someone who likes writing out your notes and you can take your time. If you're not time constrained, so not in a classroom setting. Okay. If you are write, jotting down your ideas. If this is like a list of notes for you. A list of notes for yourself. If you want more pen options than something like paper gives you. Well, paper is useless for writing for, words. Yeah, picture, paper yeah. is for drawing. Yeah. This is the equivalent of paper for writing. Hmm. How much is it? It's six dollars. Whoa! It's out right now. It's like I said before, not retina ready yet, so the resolution still looks a little pixelated. Um, but the wrist protection does work. So what's it called, Norm? It's called Note Shelf. It's out now. It's six bucks in the App Store. Uh, works with the iPad. It's a nice cat. Yeah. I drew, you can draw with it, you don't have to take notes. You, you like this, I'm kind of skeptical, but it's app of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, try it out and let us know what you think. I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys later. Bye.